Hello everyone. Before I start, I want to show you these three pictures. The floated areas after we burned all the fossil fuels on Earth. We can see New York, Miami, Amsterdam, London, Shanghai, all these big cities will be swallowed by the sea. To prevent this, we have to start using renewable energy source as soon as possible. One of the best solutions is to obtain our energy from sunlight by solar cells. This is the 100% clean energy conversion method without any climate influence. But there is a question. This technology was invented 50 years ago. Why is that after 50 years of the invention, we still cannot fully rely on solar cells as our energy source? There are mainly two problems, cost and efficiency. For now, most of solar cells are made by silicon wafer, which is the same material as we use to make computer chips. For a piece of silicon wafer, the cost is about 50 euros, but it can only convert 18% sunlight to electricity. So we need to make our solar cells with something cheaper but more efficient. Here, I would like to introduce a new material called perovskite. This material is very cheap to make. The cost is only about 1 euro. We can make solar cells with perovskite. The cool thing is that perovskite and silicon can absorb different color from sunlight. So when we put perovskite solar cells together with silicon solar cell, we can use sunlight much more efficient than before. The total efficiency can be doubled to 36%. But this device will not work by only simply attaching them together. So we have uh, creatively invented this metal nanograde to manage the current between two solar cells. At the same time, because of the reflection effect of this tiny grid, in reality, this solar cell can reflect sunlight to rainbow color, making it not just efficient, but also look nice. My name is Hong Yu Sun. I'm currently a third year PhD student at Amov, a physics research institute at Amsterdam. Thanks.